what are your inspirations for where you get your fashion style and who do you follow kind of in, in this world? Sure. Um, I've been definitely very inspired by so many different designers and especially like for me, I feel like I've always felt like an odd one out, you know, so for me, like the weirder, the better. Um, right. <laughs> always been obsessed with kind of like um, all the things like by Alexander McQueen, like, you know, his original uh, fashion shows were insane. Like he has been a pioneer and like, just like, like he's been experimenting with every single fashion show, you know, and people, it's something for people to look up to and like to be excited about because they knew that every time they're gonna come, there's gonna be something new. Like I think one of the shows they have these like robotic arms, like just paint all over the models. Oh, you know, yes. I saw this. I saw this. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And I think like the, the, uh, there were some where uh, they were like pouring water on the models and like the dress would change and the, the water like there was you know uh, and like the models with like the cages made out of hair and like birds and like you know some uh a lot of very extravagant things uh so i feel like that definitely always um inspires me and catches my eye and like makes me want to be a part of that as well you know um mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. like something yeah. yeah i was gonna say what what part of it makes you want to be well, why do you want to be part of that is it that you like kind of like shock people or is that you don't really like being uh understood in the first at the first glance of you do you or what's kind of the idea because fashion is very much a social status kind of thing where we dress to express who we are in a sense um yeah. but so like where does that come from for you a little bit um maybe i mean i always felt like a weird kid uh, you know since okay. the childhood and especially being like a mixed race kid in russia like mm -hmm. you know you always feel different so it kind of just like stayed with me throughout my whole life just like feeling different and feeling like not fitting in so you know like i kind of like gave up on trying to fit in and just kind of like dived into accepting me being different and just yeah, like embrace it, you know yeah. um definitely that's and 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 that kind of started showing i guess in my fashion taste too and i think well it also as a kid actually like as a teenager i've always loved anime and like you know mm. anime culture mm -hmm. j-rock culture so yeah, i was already yeah. like dressing really crazy <laughs> since, <laughs> since my teenage years okay. and like um just like all these, you know, kind of like Harajuku girls, like yeah. Uh, yeah. from Tokyo, like I, I would follow some of those trends, like a lot of like J-rock trends and just like cosplaying my favorite anime characters. We would have like anime conventions. So like, I think that's not like a new phase for me. And especially like after awards, I kind of transferred into like freak parties and like, uh, like more goth and like emo at the time party. Yeah. So like, so definitely like that's when I saw people doing suspensions like when I was 17 so to me yeah. like you know suspension wasn't like a, something crazy Which anymore is, because like yeah. I already experienced it from like an earlier age yeah. um and kind of had like always curiosity about it so yeah I guess definitely it's not like a new thing for me it's kind of something that I've always been excited about it's just I guess like afterwards I kind of started suppressing it and trying to be more normal mm. Um, but then I was, but then it's just like, you yeah. know, it's always, boring. for me, it's always kind of boring to be just normal. I don't know. I always try to do Absolutely. something different. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now, so now I just kind of like, don't even hold myself and like, I don't even have normal clothes in my <laughs> closet anymore. Like, yeah, like all, all the, the most normal clothes are still kind of like, uh, extravagant. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So you, I, at the moment you said, you talked about suspensions, which really, I remember seeing the video on Instagram uh, when it came out and I directly showed it to my friend. I was like, wait, is this fake? Is this real? Like, is, is this even possible? I had no idea. So tell us, is it real? Do you yeah, really I mean, that? it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, uh, it was like, so it's a BTS video for my music video that's called Seven Sins. So the idea is that like for each sin, I had like a hook, you know, that like is weighing me down, kind of weighing me down and like pulling me back. Mm -hmm. So kind of like, you know, um, carrying the sins of like other people or like I think maybe in the song, it's like specifically like a love, you know, a loved one. So like you carry their sin, sins on you. 
Um, uh, and the, the idea is like, you know, in the end, you kind of get lifted up for the, not even necessarily for suffering and pain, but like after letting go of all of that, like in mm. the video, kind of like get lifted into the have like into the sky from like right. the, the, the dark place that I was. So that's kind of like a quick premise of the video. Um, Very cool. When and like I said, yeah, out? um, if we're still working on it, so it's still going to take uh, maybe some time, but hopefully, <laughs> uh, hopefully either end of the year or maybe early next year or something like that. Um, okay, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, there's just a lot of like, it's all green screen, so a lot of CGI needs mm -hmm. to be done, so it, it takes time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 it's it's a very complicated video, like I just mm -hmm. went full on, it's like my first music video to you and I just, just like, ah, I want this and this, yeah. you know, like. Okay, I you're just like crazy, you're like, yeah, no, who cares, boom, let's do this, that, 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 crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, like without even knowing how to accomplish it, I was just like, let's just do it, and then now we're yeah. figuring out <laughs> how to make it work. Um, but um, and so, do you have do you have scars from the? Uh, actually, not not really. Um, so let me. Not really, honestly. Like it's not even noticeable. It's like little dots. You know, it's kind of like piercing. Like I don't know. Um, just like regular piercing. I don't know on your nose, on your belly. You know, like. When you do piercing, maybe there's like a little bit of a scar left, mm -hmm. but over time it's like it's you don't really not see it. So same okay. here, like they're so small, I don't even, I, sometimes I can't even see them anymore. Um, mm. But yeah, like I would say, um, I mean, obviously we could probably figure out how to do it with like makeup and everything, but I felt it's like it would be easier. Easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said it would be easier to have it with the. Yeah. No, insincere. Insincere. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was not yeah. thinking that would be easier, that's for sure. But no, yeah, it's not, um, yeah. Actually, I'm not even sure if it would be easier because maybe it would have to hold the weight of the person. Yeah. I don't think it would actually be easier. But um, oh, yeah, it was... <laughs> this is what I think of it. Like you just said, hold the weight of the person. I'm just seeing your skin getting pulled as it holds you. It's just like, oh, not yeah. easy. <laughs> well, Imagine of like kittens, you know, being grabbed by the skin. It's pretty much the same. Right. Yeah, I see. When the mom, yeah. you know, like when you grab a kitten or like a yeah. rabbit, I have a rabbit, like I yeah. grab him by his, by his neck. It's kind of similar. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean. I guess yeah. so. I guess so. But even that, I didn't, you know, wouldn't want to be lifted up like that. But yeah, but I mean, I mean, honestly, it's super cool though. I've been in your world.